Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining me today. Pepper just said hi. Guys, it's been a minute. <laughs> um, as some of you know, I am doing a no buy January slash low buy January. So I haven't had any hauls to share with you, although I do have a Sensi haul coming. So Stay tuned for that. In the next couple of weeks, I will film a an unboxing with you guys. Um, but for today, oh, Pepper's leaving us. So for today, guys, we're going to go through our second episode of Dupe or Don't. Today's video, I will compare Hot Cocoa and Cream from Bath & Body Works and Hug and a Mug from Scentsy. Hot cocoa and cream is not new to me. Um, I usually burn one every winter at some point, um, and I often mix it with marshmallow fireside. For the purposes of this comparison, I did not because I really wanted to give you guys an indication of how similar these two fragrances are. So, having said that, Hug in a Mug is new to me. And I have two cubes left. I burned through ooh, this single wick of hot cocoa and cream. I'm not going to talk uh, about performance. I'll talk about that in my January home fragrance empties. Um, yeah, there's no scent notes on this. So luckily for you guys, I did look up the scent notes. So let's talk. So let's compare here. So, Hug in a Mug from Scentsy is described by, is described as, <laughs> who doesn't crave a little TLC? Envelop your home and heart with a warm wrap of chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough. So, here's the thing. I'm just taking a sniff here. I wanna see if my opinion has changed. Guys, these are dupes. Like it's, it's pretty much dead on. So I feel like with Hug in a Mug, I can find hazelnut, but if I didn't know it was in the scent description, I don't know that I would be able to find it. And I gave this scent a real true test I had three warmers in my living room going, two cubes in each warmer, hence why there's two cubes left. And then in my bedroom, which is right off my living room, I was burning the hot cocoa and cream, which was strong, guys. Like, for a single wick, quite strong. I mean, now that it's it's got a bit of a burnt smell to it, but I did make notes, so. Both of these scents, I'm going to call them dupes for each other, spoiler alert, because when I would walk to and from the living room and bedroom, the scent was consistent. It was just straight up powdered hot chocolate mix for both. That's literally the best way I can describe it. Creamy, chocolatey powdery hot chocolate mix. I don't get cookie dough from Hug in a Mug, I can tell you that for a fact. <laughs> um, and like I said, I feel like I get hazelnut, but if I do, I must also somehow get it from Hot Cocoa and Cream, or it's so light that it's barely detectable. Because scent notes for Hot Cocoa and Cream, Bath & Body Works says, this is what Christmas smells like. Decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, mini marshmallows with essential oils. I've never gotten marshmallows from hot cocoa and cream, and I'm not getting cookie dough from Hug in a Mug. So, it is a dupe, in my opinion. However, let's talk cost a little bit. I feel like it's worth mentioning. So, Scentsy Bars, the best way, the best value you're going to get is a six pack. 
in Canada, a six pack of Sensi bars is $40. So if you divide $40 by six bars, that means hugging a mug is $6.66 a bar. I paid $5.95 for my single wicks, if I recall correctly, which is less. But I have two cubes left of hug in a mug. So here's the sad truth, and I hate to admit this. In doing these videos and just in using Scentsy along with Bath and Body Works candles, which I do on a daily basis pretty much, I'm starting to feel like I get more for my money with the candles. So this candle definitely outlasted the six cubes of Hug and a Mug. Having said that, Hug and a Mug was a great performer. It did last almost a week of melting in the evening after work and then last weekend. The candle was about the same, but the candle was still burning when the scent from Hug and a Mug was done in the living room. So, yes, there's two cubes left of Hug and a Mug, but I feel like the strength of the six cubes was pretty similar to a single wick. So, obviously, it's very hard to compare the two, but I do feel like if you were going to melt a hot cocoa and cream candle, it's way, way cheaper. Because in my experience with chopping up Bath & Body Works candles, you get so much highly scented wax, it just lasts forever. Like, it takes me so long to warm through a candle if I chop it up versus a Scentsy bar. And that's just my honest opinion. If you have experienced something different, please leave me a comment below. But this, you know, I'm kind of torn because I don't know which one that I would recommend over the other. The scent, they are dupes for each other, in my opinion. As always, guys, this is all my opinion and my experience. So, be being that they are dupes for each other, I think, and again, being that the price is so similar and the performance was so similar, I think it would come down to basically preference. I think if you could get, if you really, really, really love this type of scent, I think if you could get a three wick hot cocoa and cream, I have one somewhere here, but I'm not gonna dig it out. I think if you could get one, you know, for a really good deal with a coupon, you're gonna get more for your money than the eight cubes of the hug and a mug. That's just my opinion. So guys, have you tried hug and a mug? What do you think? Do you find that it is a dupe for hot cocoa and cream? I think hot cocoa and cream, well I know that it's been around forever and most people have at least tried it. Um, hug and a mug is a little newer. I want to say this is maybe like the third season, maybe the third year that they've had it and I thought I should finally give it a try. Um, I don't know that I'll repurchase it, to be honest. I think I'll probably go back to my annual hot cocoa and cream candle. I do have a three wick in addition to this, this single wick that's now finished. Um, I don't know if I'll bother burning it this winter or if I'll save it till next winter just because I have so much stuff to get through. But yeah, I think in the future I'll probably pass on the Scentsy Hug in a Mug. It was good, it was great. Um, I just don't love that type of scent. I like it and it's kind of like a one and done for me. Like I enjoyed it while it lasted and I'm ready to move on. So with the last two cubes, I might even try to mix it with something else just for fun because that was kind of my original plan when I ordered it. So yeah, guys. Um, so yeah, these are definitely, in my opinion, they are dupe. They're, you know, 9.5 out of 10 as far as being the same. <laughs> um, I enjoyed them. I'm ready to move on. Let me know what you guys think. So I really appreciate you guys watching. I just want to mention that I love, and I've said this before, 
I love this candle community. I love this home fragrance community that we have on YouTube. It's really cool. And I love that I can share my passion for this stuff with you guys. And I love that I can watch videos like this. <laughs> um, it's sort of my guilty pleasure and I really, I really enjoy watching these videos. And if you guys are into them, I enjoy making them too. So let me know if you are into this dupe or don't series. And thanks again for watching. Until next time, guys, I hope you're all having a wonderfully scented day. Bye.